All right. All right, guys, we're heading out today. I'm going to install our new Seaboard Marine pump in the uh, starboard QSB 5.9 I have in the boat. And, you know, right away you can see a difference. You have a longer uh, shaft here with this little snout on it. It might make it easier to install a, a pulley on it. This is thicker than this one. You can see that pretty much. Now, it looks, it's longer too. Um, and I did speak with uh, Tony from SBO, SBMAR. I thought it was because there's a third bearing. I think this only has two, this has three, but it's not. It's the, the difference is in the housing. You can see right here. And he says it's a different oil seal. Uh, old school Detroit style seal, which uh, if you've been around diesels for a long time, you know those things last a long time. So I'm pretty hopeful with this pump. Uh, there's also two screws for the uh, cam versus one on the uh, Sherwood pump. So we'll get back, uh, see how it goes. I'll get back to you. Bye. All right. Take three. I have my SMX pump that uh, just arrived. My Sherwood pump died after 455 hours, but 18 years old. So I'm going to put this in. Little tip. Grease fitting comes out before this slips through here. Otherwise, uh, you might snap that grease fitting off. But anyway, I'm going to put this in. And then I'm going to put the elbow on. I'm going to put the elbow on before I even tighten this up so I can keep it on its side easy. All right. Come on. Come on. Okay. Just turn that that way. All right. The elbow has the new O-ring in it. It's got some grease on the o-ring i'm gonna put it on i'm gonna kind of guess as to where i had the angle on it so All right, we're getting there. In the interest of time, I'll shut this off and turn it back on when we're done with that. Okay, I got the elbow on. Now I gotta line up the pump. Should be pretty easy. Top bolt is on. Bottom bolt is in. Nothing socked up yet. Just getting it to support the pump. Pump is mounted here. It's 
nice looking pump. Like I said before, it's a little bigger. I think it's about a half inch bigger than the factory pump, but uh, according to Tony SB Moore, it's uh, because of the oil seal system. Which I'll gladly take. Plus it has a, I believe it has a, a third bearing in it that the Sherwood doesn't. So. I don't have any torque specs for these. So I'm just relying on the old hands. Okay. So. Let's see. All right. Here's the pump in place. Bottom elbow's on. It might be out a little further than I like, but that's all right. We'll see. And the pump is mounted there. So now I got to put the grease fitting back in. Then I'll put the pulley on. And uh, top elbow hose. All right, let's get going. All right, all right, we're gonna put the pulley on. Have the bolts lined up. Actually put a little never seize on them. I don't know if you can see this. I guess you can't. Maybe this is just pointless. I just can't get the camera tilted enough to see it. All right, we'll give that a shot. So, got the belt lined up. Huh. Right on the money. How's that for luck? I'm using anti-seize, so... Probably by the time I'm done, the entire engine will be covered with it. Anybody who works with that stuff knows it is that goes everywhere. All right. Beauty. Going right in. I really like this pump. The housing. Everything about it. All right. I'm just gonna tighten that up. My back is cramping up. Tell me I don't have the right size here. That's impossible. Uh, yeah. I should have had that laid out beforehand. That's in. So the next step, I gotta adjust the belt tension. And I guess you can't see that either. 